Hello guys and welcome back to Racketology. As always, my name is Zach and today we're going to be discussing how exactly to find and locate the stringing patterns for your frames. So we are going to be utilizing two different sources for today. One is going to be through the Clipper USA website and the other one is going to be through the USRSA website. Now both of these are going to be a little bit different even on the way that you read them. So I will go ahead and, and show you how exactly to get the information from these two resources and explain the differences between them as well. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is type in Clipper USA. Click on the website, go over to Learning Center, and click on Racket Stringing Patterns. Now over here, it's finally going to bring up the list and we're just going to click on you know let's just go Wilson Tennis for a second and as you can see it does give you a little key here uh, for reading these as well and it'll just go ahead and tell you all these different patterns and you can you know press control F you know and, and find what you want I think you know let's do hyper pro staff 7.1 so this first number is actually going to be your tension range. 50 to 60 is for um, your tension range in pounds. It's not in, uh, in uh, kilograms. Then we have our string lengths that we need. So you need 19 feet for your mains, 16 feet for your crosses. Right over here is going to be the string pattern, which is going to be 16 mains by 19 crosses. So that's going to be this one right here. Then we're actually going to have, for the mains, these are going to be the skips. So you're going to skip at 7 and 9 at the top, and 7 and 9 at the bottom. So it is going to be you know even skips on both sides. Then we're going to move right over here. This is actually going to be your tie-off for your main. So you, you know that you're going to tie off on 6 bottom. Then this next reading is actually going to be... 7T, which stands for 7 top, and this one is going to be your cross stringing. Uh, so this is going to be your first cross string. You lace your first cross string at 7T, the first one that you skipped right over here at 7 main. So it'll be pretty easy to recognize because it won't have any string there. But then this is actually going to be your tie off. So you're going to tie off at 5 top. So you lace it through 7 top, and then you tie off at five top for your starting knot then you go ahead and you finish out at 11 bottom that's where your last tie off is going to be now uh, let me let me go ahead and go back you can actually go over to let's say something like Ectalon right and sometimes they'll have little little instructions here and there like it looks like it, it gives a little instruction here but I, I think it's mostly for for their machine and how exactly to string it. But anyway, uh, you know, that's pretty much all the instructions that you're going to be getting from something like this site. You know, everything is just going to be the listed out patterns. Uh, you know, and it looks like <laughs> there's even a little bit of overlap on some of these. Um, yeah, I guess that there's a little long, so they, <laughs> they kind of bleed in. But anyway, so this is kind of what you'll be looking at. Um, it won't have very specific instructions. You know, Ectalon Racquetball uh, in specific has like, you know, five or six different patterns. So, uh, you know, it, it won't tell you how to do any of those step by step. It'll just kind of list them all out. You know, it, it's still good if you need to, you know, find out different things about it. But, you know, it's definitely not the most insightful whenever it comes down to racket stringing patterns. So just one other thing to kind of keep in mind with that. Well, anyway, that pretty much sums up the Clippermate website. Let's go ahead and jump over to the USRSA. Now, this one is a Stringer's Digest. This is something that is also given to you through the USRSA membership. Now, it's just a physical version of it, but since it's a little bit harder for me to capture it through regular camera recording, I am just going to use just the website for in this case. But just to let you know, just in case you want to bring something that is going to be a physical copy, that might be one little bonus uh, also with the USRSA subscription. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to the view for the website now. All right, let's go ahead and go over to the RacketTech.com. 
Now you're going to go right over Tools, and then you're going to click on Patterns. Now you can only do this if you are a member, just to get that out there. Uh, in which case, you know they do have options to become one. But let's go ahead and go over here, and just for the the quick comparison, because I think it's probably what the most useful part of this is, is let's go over to Ectalon. Let's let's do the Toron. So it'll go ahead and list off all these different rackets. And the best part of this is that you can actually just click on it. And it will give you the step-by-step -step instructions for this particular frame. So that is really helpful for a lot of these different types of racquetball rackets. Now, if you are just stringing tennis, um, it is you know, still going to be... They're, all tennis rackets are pretty much going to be very similar. So, you know, I could see why it's just something like the Clipper USA will get you by, you know, 99% of the time, I would say. But whenever it comes down to, say, something, you know, that needs very specific instructions, I, as you can see, there is quite a lot of instructions for, say, something like this Ectalon uh, RG Toron that I just clicked on. And one other thing about reading the patterns from... Rakitec in comparison to Clipper USA is going to be the way that it shows it. So, you know, it has the, the regular info right here, you know, 39 uh, feet of string for a one piece, short side of 11 feet, you know, uh, a couple other things here. But whenever you get over to this, 8H and 1T, so these are going to be different in comparison to Clipper USA. 8H is going to stand for 8 head. So this is gonna, actually going to be the top of the frame. And one T is going to be for the bottom. It's going to stand for one throat. So this is going to be the throat of the racket. This is going to be the head of the racket. So in comparison to the Clipper USA website, T switches from top. And now all of a sudden on the Racket Tech website, it is going to be throat. So just remember that if you are going to be using uh, either one of those uh, resources. That way you can actually keep up with them. And... They have more than just that. They also have special cases. So these are mostly from the manufacturers, and you can see their regular PDF form. So if I were to click on these, it would just bring up a PDF on my computer. But it is going to have just a whole bunch of different uh, stringing patterns. Look, it even has you know conventional wooden racket stringing patterns. Um, the Prince, Slozenger, a couple of the different weed rackets as well. Wilson T2000 and, and the rest of them as well. So, you know, just uh, plenty, plenty of resources as far as uh, racket stringing goes. So this is really good in case you are doing more than just your conventional, conventional, sorry, uh, tennis stringing patterns. So, uh, yeah, that that's really what I would just recommend it for if you are doing... Um, you know, older, older rackets or, you know, some occasional weird ones. This, this resource really does help. And then if you are doing racquetball, racquetball, especially because there are uh, a bunch of different patterns, like I said, already with something like Ectalon, you have like five to six different patterns, even within their specific uh, rackets that they uh, personally sell. So it can be a really good resource. Well, anyway, guys, uh, let's go ahead and jump back. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay up to date on all the future content that we're going to be posting. And don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions about anything. Let me know if it's about machines, if it's about you know a, a pattern, or even if it's about a video that you hope that I can make here in the future. Anyway, take care, guys, and happy hitting.